All right, so if you have driven through downtown Skowhegan at all this week, you might have noticed there's a refrigerator on the side of Commercial Street. Kind of an out of place appliance, but it does have a pretty important purpose. I will not read this part of Chloe's story. I'll let her do it. Hey, Chloe. Hi, Lee. Good morning. Thank you. You know, I don't blame you. It is a good story. This was fun for me to do. So, you know, we know a lot of Maine families have been battling hunger during the pandemic, and two Skowhegan women have decided to take action with a creative idea. They started a community refrigerator at the town's Chamber of Commerce and left it outside for a specific reason. Well, what we have in the fridge right now. This refrigerator on Commercial Street in Skowhegan doesn't belong in a kitchen. Instead, it's serving a greater purpose. I think most people want to help other people. Sometimes it's just hard to know how. Skowhegan's Maureen Davis says she was inspired weeks ago by an NPR story about community refrigerators helping the hungry. She wanted to do something with an extra refrigerator in her basement and reached out to her friend Patsy Miller for help. My initial reaction was, oh my word, can we really do this? As it turns out, they could. This community refrigerator is left unlocked 24 hours a day, seven days a week for people to drop off or pick up food anonymously. After less than a week, the project has has already taken off. Today we opened up the refrigerator and someone donated chicken in the freezer. It is so wonderful to see the excitement. We didn't expect it. These women say they owe a lot to the town selectmen for voting four to one to support this initiative and the town's chamber of commerce for agreeing to host the refrigerator alongside a food pantry blessing box. People are donating. People are taking from the food, uh, food from the food box, the blessing box, as well as the refrigerator. I like the idea that people can go there and nobody knows so they don't have to feel uncomfortable or embarrassed. It's an important mission since experts say Mainers are hurting now more than ever. I think that food and hunger has been um, really affected by the pandemic. It can happen to anybody at any time. A reminder when times get tough, you can find help in your community with no judgment. A lot of people right now are finding themselves in need that never thought they'd be in need. And it was something that we could do that kind of fills our hearts and helps our community. Maureen Davis and Patsy Miller say they've been getting donations from businesses and community members, and anyone is welcome to help out or take what they need. Live in studio this morning, Chloe Tebow, New Center, Maine.